Hare Krishna. Here's a technique that'll take 60 seconds of your day and it's going to change your life. And it's called the diary, the gratitude diary, keeping a diary of gratitude. Gratitude is such an important technique. It's not like a little new agey thing, you know, touchy feely. No, no. Gratitude is a real thing studied by science and is research after research showing how gratitude completely uplifts your well-being. It's, a, it's the most powerful tool you can get to uplift your well-being. What gratitude does is not only is it positive, but it makes you thankful. When you're thankful, it's an extra kind of positive. Like when something good happens to you, it's good, but then when you're grateful for whatever, for, for having received that gift, you, like you, you, you add on to the positive you're already feeling from the good thing that happened to you. So to develop gratitude, um, all you have to do is every day, this diary of gratitude is very simple. And you can even download apps. There are hundreds of apps you can download for it because it's so helpful. It really changes your life. But you can just get a, you know, just a piece of paper and a pen, whatever it is. You just determine a certain time of the day where you're going to write down three to five things for which you are grateful in that day. That's it. It's that simple. Just, just write it down, either on the app or on paper, whatever. It can't, you know, like, oh, I'm grateful that it was such a beautiful day today. I'm grateful that today I had the chance to talk to my friend. I hadn't seen him or her in a long time. I'm grateful for the nice moment I had with my child today. We had a really good, you know, we were having fun. I'm so grateful to be able to have that chance to be with him or her today. Whatever. Or it could be something that, you know, I'm grateful for the promotion I got. I'm grateful that, you know, the movie, I saw a really funny movie today. Whatever. There's so many good things. I'm grateful for the great, you know, veggie burger I had today. Whatever it is, you just write it down. And that's it. He's like, is that it? Yeah, that's it. But what happens is, what's going on is, is part to do with how your brain works. Because you've made this pact with yourself that you're going to be writing down these good things that happened to you today, your brain gets the following message. You're saying, dear brain, I have to write down some good things in my diary. So you have to look out for good things for me. That's the message you're telling your brain. And the brain says, oh, okay, so you want me to be on the lookout for good things today. Yes, Mr. Brain, that's what I'm asking you to do. So then the brain switches on a new filter. It puts on a new filter on reality. A new command has been printed now in your brain. And you start finding out good things that are happening. They were happening already, but you weren't picking them up because there was no instruction. There was no filter to capture those things. But now you've created a filter. No, please capture good things in my life. So then the brain puts in place this new filter of capturing the good stuff capturing good moments, capturing things to be thankful for. And then you start capturing them. So you won't just, you know, a brain doesn't work like you just do three or five. It'll just keep getting everything, everything that that's good, the brain's going to register. And then you will become aware of them. Your brain will register, you're going to become aware of them, and that's going to make you happier. That's the trick of this gratitude diary. Because your brain starts perceiving and bringing to your conscious attention all these good things that are happening. Because the fact is, there are good things happening all the time, even in horrible situations. There's always something to be grateful for. I mean, you, you woke up, you can breathe, you know, you, you haven't died. You, there's always something. You, had, you know, I had a glass of water today. I mean, it, no matter like how horrible it is, at least you're alive, you know, like something. 
you can get something from that day. And so your brain starts bringing what to you know what to speak of like a regular you know life like your life you're like full of amazing things to be grateful for. So your brain starts perceiving the abundance of grateful things happen in your life. Then you feel more positive, and because you're feeling more positive, then you start getting more good things happen in your life. So it's a it's a virtuous cycle that makes you feel better and better. So it's a very powerful technique. Again, it takes only 60 seconds because it's just writing down three to five good things. This can change your life. And you have to make it, to make it work, you have to make it every day. You have to, it has to be a set instruction to your brain. No, it's got to be every day. Other research shows that at night is the best time. That's, that's when I do it. I do it mentally at night. As you're about to go to sleep, you lie down, or just before you lie down, do that. Because then you finish the day off really nicely. And then when you wake up the next day, you kind of bring that positive energy that you finish the last day with. You start the day with that positive energy that you left off with. So I recommend doing it at night. But whenever you want to do it, at lunch, when you wake up, whatever time is convenient for you. But just make it, ritualize it. Make it like every day at exactly the same time so that you don't, so you have the habit, so you create the instant habit of doing it. That's my suggestion. Try it and it will change your life for sure. Hare Krishna.